Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today we are going to learn something basic that will give us a broad vision of how to make and create more scripts based on these lessons that we are going to learn now. Well, let's now start a register command to start. Here we want to spawn an object in the world. In Client Lua, let's start by creating the spawn barrel command. This command will allow the player to spawn a barrel in front of the character for testing. Player peed id gets the current player's character and stores that in the player ped variable. Get entity chords player ped gets the coordinates where the player is on the map and stores them in the player chords variable. Get entity forward vector player ped gets the direction the player is facing to spawn the barrel in front of them. Player chords plus forward vector adds the player's coordinates to the direction and defines where the barrel will appear. Here I am checking if all variables have the same name, as this influences the final result. Get hash key p gun barrel set 01x turns the barrel model name into a hash, which the game understands. Request model barrel hash loads the barrel model before spawning. Create object is where the barrel actually appears in the game at the coordinates we calculated. Now let's restart the script and test it. As we can see, there was an error. It couldn't create the object because it couldn't find the value for the spawn chord's coordinate. I must have made a mistake when writing. Let's check. This is a good opportunity for you to see how to resolve an error in the console. It tells you the problem, so you go back to the code and check. So after correcting, we will restart the script to correct the code and test it again. Great, it's working, but we see that the object is still floating, so we'll need to use another function to adjust this. I am deleting the object so as not to pollute. I am deleting it using Spooner, but we are going to learn a command here as well to remove them using the command. With the implemented removal logic, you could adapt it to any event or code necessary to use it, but let's focus on the principles that are the commands. Now we will use the native function to place the object on the ground whenever it is spawned. Let's also place a variable for the object we are going to create because we want to place them when created in a table for better manipulation later. Let's add these objects to a table to track them and delete them or do anything with them more accurately. We will use table insert. Don't forget to always name the table at the beginning of the script to store them.
Now we will create the command to interact with the table and delete the object whenever we want. Let's test the commands and see if everything is okay. Correct. Now we are on the right track. Let's just now that everything is working, learn the concept of print. It will give us a response in the console if everything goes well.